In this video, we're going to take a look at um, the percentage do statement. And we've seen the do statement used in normal data steps, and there's four versions of it. Do by itself, using conjunction with the if and the then statement. The do iterative statement, and the do while, and the do until statement. So we're, uh, we're going to see those um, when applied to, to macros. So I'll make this a bit bigger, because it's going to be a whole bunch of code. First of all, we're going to create a macro, and we're going to use a percentage if statement, and we're going to use, in conjunction with that, a percentage do statement. So I'm creating a macro called shopping with two positional uh, macro variables. What have I done there? Don't want that. So um, here we go. Percentage if. So I'm checking a macro variable. So if, f, if spend is negative, percentage then, and here percentage do. So normally a normal if statement and a then statement, or a do statement, if I wanted to join a whole bunch of statements within there, and it would end with, a, with an end. So it's exactly the same thing with macros. If I'm using percentage if, then I have to use percentage do. Um, and then we simply write, okay, data jjj after saving, because if my spend is negative, then I've saved money. Um, keep equals name, old savings, new savings and I want to set set mat008.jjj so we've seen this in a whole bunch of uh, previous videos and data sets um, nothing too new here so now percentage else so if that macro variable condition doesn't hold else percentage do and now data, data, data jjj after spending keep equals name, old savings, new savings, set mat008.jjj, and percentage end. And then we can just have the normal statement, so old savings equals savings in pounds, new savings equals savings in pounds minus trips times spend run and percentage macro end that all seems fine so now when I run this this code here gets uh, submitted to, to memory and when I just run the macro shopping let's say the spend of 50 and 3 trips when I submit this code, it'll get picked up by the word scanner, and I've gone over this in previous videos, so uh, take a look at those if this is still unclear. Um, this will get submitted to the word scanner, which will pick it up, and that will resolve to this text. That text will then get picked up by the word scanner, which will recognize this percentage if statement, and then that will be resolved. So it'll check spend is spend negative. No, spend is 50. So it'll go here. And then these eight lines of code, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lines of code, will resolve simply to these two lines of code here. In the meantime, trips and spend would have also resolved to uh, 50 times 30. All right, so if I run that, go to my library, go to work, JJJ after spending. Right, which gives us exactly what we'd expect. And now if I change that to uh, minus 50 and run that, we have JJJ after saving. Because in this instance, these eight lines of code have simply resolved to those first two. Now that's a very simple statement. Uh, the percentage do just allows you to um, get a whole thing, get, combine multiple statements into one. But what we're also going to see is an iterative statement. So I'm going to create a new macro, macro shopping. Uh, single variable spend and here we have a percentage do trips equals one percentage two ten so what this does is creates a macro variable trips that I can then incorporate code in here so it's not a normal variable it's a macro variable and we'll see why that's very powerful so I can create a new data set jjj after saving and percent trips and that's what's very powerful and everything else is more or less the same. We'll come back to that in a bit. Name, old, savings, new, savings. Um, 
set mat 0008.jjj old savings, so just exactly the same code we had before, savings in pounds and new savings equals savings in pounds minus ampersand trips times ampersand spend uh, run to end the, uh, the data step percentage end semicolon and percentage macro end so what happens now when this gets compiled the word scanner picks up this percent so sorry let me just send that to memory and we'll go over it just before I compile it so that's sent to memory so now when I s submit shopping 20 that gets picked up by the word scanner the percentage shopping gets resolved to this lines of code which again get picked up by the word scanner because this percentage do statement and that percentage do trips equals 1 to 10 resolves to basically 10 copies of these five lines of code here each of which is more or less the same except that trips changes so keep an eye on that work library there if I run this code it creates all these work libraries all these uh, data sets simply with the names that we wanted there and that's basically um, all we need to know about percentage do statements for now we could have a percentage do percentage while and percentage do percentage until but I won't go into those details in this video it's they work exactly as you'd expect and the very important and powerful thing is that when using a percentage do what it does is create a macro variable um, so these five lines of code basically get resolved to ten copies of them with different values of trips there